Good morning. I hope that this is the perfect flow to get you woken up and ready to face the day ahead. Morning has officially broken. We're gonna start seated. So find yourself in a cross-legged seat if that feels good. You can come onto your knees and sit back on your heels if that's better for you. And just close your eyes for a second, maybe roll the shoulders back, sit up tall, and take three deep breaths, in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> Whether or not you have only just woken up, these are probably the deepest breaths you've taken so far today, so use them to clear out the body. Deep and nourishing. And then when you've taken those three deep breaths, finding an inhale and exhale through the nose, still deeper than normal, but more natural. Just giving yourself a little time to shift between whatever you have been doing. Maybe it still is early morning, but you've already been up and busy. Maybe you've just woken up and crawled out of bed, and so you're still feeling a little sleepy. Maybe you've woken up late and you're feeling rushed and needing to go. Wherever you are using this breath to transition you in to somewhere that you want to be. Whether that's a little more chilled, a little more focused, a little more energized. And then maybe continuing to keep the eyes closed, bring your hands together, palms together, thumbs at the heart center and just bow your head down, so tucking chin into chest, but almost releasing your forehead towards your fingertips, so really reaching that head down as far as you can. And then releasing the hands to the knees, keep that chin tucked in, and as you inhale, can you trace your chin up to your right shoulder? Just taking it all the way up and then exhale to trace it all the way back down to center. Inhale, coming up to left shoulder. Keep those shoulders released back and down. Exhale to take the chin back down to center. Inhale, up to right shoulder. Exhale, back down to center. Inhale, up to left. Exhale, back down to center. One more time each way, inhaling up to your right shoulder. Exhaling down to center and inhaling up to your left shoulder. Exhaling down to center. Now really gently rise the head up, maybe fluttering open the eyelids if they're not already. And just take a switch across of the legs. So other leg out in front, if you're cross-legged. Press those hands down into the thighs to the knees. And inhale, roll shoulders back, lift chest. We've got a seated cat-cow here, arching the back. Exhale, press down into the thighs, the knees, as you press the back round and back. Inhale to shift forward, roll shoulders back, reach the chest up. Exhale, how far can you round that back and press it towards the back of the room? Inhale, coming up. Exhale, take it back. A couple more of these with your own breath in your own time, really using it as a way to open up the body, stretch it in ways that it definitely hasn't been while you've been sleeping. Oh, <laughs> it feels so good. It's like a wake up groove. And then the next time that you do come back through center, just keep it there. Roll the shoulders back and down. And then send the hands out in front of you as you come to all fours. Ease the fingers and the hands just in front of the shoulders. Tuck your toes and press your hips high, downward facing dog. And take any movement that you would like, any little walks with the feet, 
steps out, shakes, nods of the head, <laughs> openings of hips, anything that feels good. And then reach those hips high. Really spreading those fingers as you ease the heels a little closer towards the mat. Now inhale, lift to your tiptoes. Exhale, take both of your heels over to the left. Press your hips over to the left. Find a lovely stretch opening here and then inhale back up to tiptoes to center. Exhale, heels over to right. You're staying in that downward dog shape. Send the bum over to the right. Inhale, lift it back up. And then take your feet as wide as the mat and slowly walk your hands back towards your feet. And then just dangle here. You could stay with these feet as wide as the mat. You could bring them in to hip width, whatever feels good. You just release yourself, maybe grabbing hold of opposite elbow or maybe clasping the hands behind the back, releasing the hands over the head for a lovely shoulder massage this morning. Take the weight wherever you are into the feet. Almost like you're on a diving board and you need to get yourself as close to that edge as possible. Although I've got no idea about diving and if that is what you want to do. <laughs> but imagine that you're trying to look at something over that edge. You're really reaching as far as you can. And then if you've got hold of opposite elbows or hands, release them down, tuck chin into chest and roll yourself all the way up. There's a slight softness, a bend in the knees. And then reach your arms high, huge big stretch, morning yawn, maybe coming up to your tiptoes and then pressing the heels down as you reach the arms out wide, send the bum back, fold it all the way down. Inhale, lift your hands to shins, press your bum back, find a half lift here, really reach the chest forward and then release the hands, walk them all the way out to your downward facing dog. With your next inhale, rise your right leg and open the hip. Bend the knee and press that knee as high as you can. Try and keep the weight centered between those two hands. Rise that right knee up. And then exhale, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand and lay your back knee down. So we've got that right leg a little wider. Toes might be slightly off the mat um, as your hands are both on the inside of that foot. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift the chest and exhale, straighten that front leg. Still keep a lift in the chest, but just reaching back, stretching through the leg. Inhale to press the sole of the foot back down, roll shoulders back, lift the chest. Exhale to lengthen that leg. Moving it towards straight and then inhaling to place the sole of the foot down, roll shoulders back. One more time like this, straightening it out on the exhale and then inhaling to come all the way through and then plant the hands down, lift that back knee and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, shift over into your plank and your choice whether to lower knees or lower the body straight down to the mat. Try and keep the whole of the body moving in unison and then take the fingers slightly off the mat, fingertips here. Inhale to find a wide cobra, so hands slightly wider than the mat. Ripple yourself up, roll the shoulders back. Gaze forward, press hips down into the mat and then exhale, release. Can we find a little ripple here? So inhale to rise it up. Exhale to ripple it down. Inhale to rise. Press tops of the feet down into the mat. Exhale to lower. One more time like this, inhaling to rise. Exhale to take it down. And then bring hands back underneath shoulders. Inhale, press up to your knees. 
tuck your toes, downward facing dog. As you inhale, lift your left leg high, bend the knee, press it up towards the ceiling, keep the weight central between those hands, those arms. And then step the foot to the outside of the left hand, lower that right knee down. Hands are on the inside of that left foot, toes are pointing slightly off the mat, heels slightly in. Roll shoulders back on the inhale, lift the chest forward and then exhale to lengthen the leg. Keep a little lift in the chest and then send it forward, bending the leg, rising the chest. Exhale to straighten it. Just some nice movements this morning to wake up the body. Bring it forward, lift that chest. One more time, taking it back and then bringing it forward. And then plant those hands down, lift the back knee, and then can you step this right foot to the outside of the right hand, both toes are facing slightly off the mat, heels in, sit the bum down, palms together in your malasana, your squat. Now either here, or you could bring a block underneath and give yourself a little seat. Whatever you would like today, but use those elbows if you can to press the knees, the thighs wide. Sit up tall and find one more deep breath in whatever malasana you're in. And then reach the hands down towards the floor, lift the hips. If you had a block, shuffle it out of the way. Wiggle your feet into hip width. Inhale, rise your hands to shins, find a half lift, press bum back, lift chest, exhale, release. Inhale, huge big stretch, arms wide, big yawn, still a softness in the knees, and then exhale to take the arms wide as you send the bum back, release the hands down. Inhale, hands to shins again, find that half lift. And then exhale to release. Step right and left foot back to downward facing dog. And then just take your feet as wide as the mat and then walk them slightly in. But you're still in your downward dog, just slightly shorter, heels as wide as the mat. And then send the heels back. Feel like someone has got a hold of your thighs and is trying their best to get you off the mat into whatever you've got to do this morning. <laughs> and you are like, no way. Got a couple more minutes here. <laughs> Leave me be. Really press your bum all the way back. Deep breath here. And then gently bring your feet back into your more usual downward dog. So feet hip width apart. Inhale, rise your right leg and exhale to step it through between the hands. Ground that back foot, warrior two-esque and reach the arms all the way up. But can you straighten that front leg? Reach the right arm as far forward as possible and then bring the hand down to the shin. Yeah, as high or as low as it needs to. Left arm overhead, wrap that left hip back as you find your triangle pose. You're trying to spread the whole of the back of your body onto an imaginary wall, using it to lean on, really spreading yourself into one straight line. And then inhale, lift it all the way up. Right toes, turn the wide edge of the mat. Left toes, turn towards the back of the mat. <laughs> Maybe widen your feet slightly and bend into the left foot, so towards the back of your mat. Left forearm comes to the thigh, right arm overhead, find a side angle here. Again, like the triangle, peel that right hip back as you kind of press both hips forward. Right arm can be up, it can reach overhead. And then exhale to release your right hand down. Walk your hands to the middle of the mat, turn left toes to the long edge. Yeah, so you're folding in a wide-legged fold now. Maybe walk the hands back so they're in line with the toes, fingers in line with toes. Press the weight forward like we were doing in those forward folds. Make sure that toes are in front of heels or even slightly in. 
Press your hips over your heels and just let yourself fold here. And then inhale, lift to your fingertips. Find a little lift in the chest. And then walk your hands around your right foot to the top of your mat. Turn to face the top of your mat in a lunge. And can you just walk that right foot out so you're back into that lizard lunge? So right toes off the mat, both hands on the inside of that foot. Keep that back leg lifted. Now you can do what we did before, lower that back knee. We're finding that straightening and bending. Or keep the back knee lifted. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, chest up, exhale, lengthen. So slightly more intense, working slightly different pieces here. So either knee down or knee up, whatever you feel like. Inhaling to lift the chest forward, bend the knee, exhale to straighten it out, still a little lift in the chest. Inhale, open it up, last time here, exhale to straighten. And then inhale, come forward, lower that back knee if it isn't already. An opportunity here to send your right hand back to maybe grab a hold of your left foot. Now, if this feels painful in the knee, you can always find a blanket or something to give you a little more cushioning. Or you could stay here in your lunge and just concentrate on releasing down, maybe opening out that thigh. If you have got that right hand to the left foot, press foot into hand, roll your right shoulder back as you open your chest up to the right hand side. And then gently release the foot if you have it. Bring the hand back to the front, lift the back knee, step back to your downward facing dog. And once more, just take your feet as wide as the mat, bring them slightly in, ease the heels back. Find that stretch like someone is really trying to pull you off the mat. Press bum and thighs as far back as you can. For three for two, for one. And then just walk your feet back to your more usual downward dog. Inhale, left leg rises, lift it high. And then step it through between the hands, ground that back foot into your warrior two feet as you rise up and then straighten that front leg, reach the arms out to the side, left arm reaches as far out as you can before coming down to the shin, right arm reaches up, finding your triangle pose, reach that right hip up and back. Place the whole of your back body against an imaginary wall really reach that right arm up you might want to gaze to that right hand it might not feel so good on the neck so keep the face forward and then inhale to lift all the way back up left toes point to the wide edge of the mat right toes to the back bend into the knee right knee towards the back of the mat maybe you lengthen the legs a little right forearm to the thigh left arm overhead left hip Peels back, find your side angle towards the back of the mat. Deep breath here. And then release your left hand to the inside of that right foot. Walk the hands to the center of the mat. Turn right toes to face the wide edge of the mat. Walk those fingers back to be in line with toes or like we did at the beginning, reach the hands back behind you for a clasp, maybe opposite thumb and first finger on top and reach the arms up and over. Send the weight into the toes. Stretch out the body. <sighs> Taking some deep old breaths here. And then gently release the hands. Lift up to fingertips, inhale to lift the chest and then start to walk the fingers back towards the top of the mat. 
edge that left foot out, toes off the mat, heels slightly in, both hands on the inside. You can either lower that back knee or keep it lifted as we inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. <laughs> Got so much hair in front of my face for hair that will not stay out of it. <laughs> and then exhale to straighten the leg. <laughs> Reach the chest forward, inhale to bend. Roll shoulders back, lift the chest. Exhale to straighten. Inhale, bend. Roll shoulders back. Exhale to straighten. And then this time, as you come back forward, bending the leg, rolling the shoulders back, if that back knee isn't lowered, lower it down. Remember, you can always spend time here in your lizard, lowering your hips, maybe easing that left thigh out, or you could reach your left hand back behind you, reaches for the foot, maybe grabs a hold. If it does, foot presses into hand, roll left shoulder back as you open up to the left. Deep breath here. And then gently release the foot if you've got a hold of it. Bring that left hand back through. And then instead of moving back to our downward dog, we're gonna take our left knee back beside the right, then bring the knees as wide as the mat and send the bum back towards the heels. Child's pose. Take a deep inhale and exhale to send the bum a little further back towards the heels. And then inhale to look up at fingers, walk the hands over to the right as far as you can. And then exhale to fold back down, send weight back to the left hand side of the bum. Still securing yourself down, rooting yourself down even with this twist. And then next inhale, look up at the fingers, walk them back to center. Exhale to take them out to the left, walking them as far as you can. Taking an inhale here and then exhaling to sink it down, releasing right hip, right bum, back towards the right. Deep breath here. And then inhale, look up to fingers, walk them back to the front. <laughs> Come over to all fours, cross the legs, and then lay the legs out in front. <sighs> and you can always sit up on something if that feels better. Try and shift some of the, <laughs> some of the booty out to the side so that you feel really secure and grounded so that you feel like you're really rooted down. Inhale to rise the arms. And then keeping that back as straight as you can, press back through the bum as you send the hands, maybe around the sides of the feet, maybe to the floor. Keep a lift in the chest as you fold. So keeping a lift in the chest, reaching that bum back all the while. Stretching out the body. Stay here for two more breaths. And then tuck chin into chest, roll all the way up. And cross the legs and just come back to a seat here. And the rest is kind of your choice. <laughs> So you could then go through some movements on your back, a happy baby, a little rock and roll to the side, moving into your Shavasana. You could finish in this seated position, maybe closing your eyes and bringing yourself back to a steady breath, or even trying a little meditation. I've got a cheeky little focus meditation. It's super speedy and quick, maybe that you could tap into. Otherwise, Whatever you wanna do, enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you feel stretched and ready to face it. 
these morning practices are my favorite because it allows you to set yourself up for the day. However you wake up feeling, if you've had some crazy dream, like I quite often do, <laughs> with all sorts of adventure and chaos, it allows yourself to kind of shift from whatever that was and go into the day with whatever mindset and thought that you want to. So enjoy, and I'll see you soon.